Uh, meantime, the volcanic eruption in Iceland's Reykjavik Peninsula is weakening. Three vents are still erupting and lava is flowing away from the town of Grindavik. The volcanic gas is also moving away from populated areas. The gas has been a potential to be seen in the capital today, but the Icelandic government says there is no threat to life. Fox News journalist CB Cotton joins us now to discuss the volcanic activity in Iceland. Uh, CB, everyone's eyes are on these amazing images coming out of the country. Uh, they are spectacular, Britta, that's right. You know, as you mentioned, lava is still spewing from a long crack in the Earth's surface in southwest Iceland. The intensity has decreased, but scientists are still worried about more vents opening up along this crack or further north or south of it. Other experts believe the eruption may have slowed enough to possibly end before the weekend. So a lot to watch and look out for. This unfolding on Iceland's most populated peninsula, about 30 miles southwest of Iceland's capital of Reykjavik, and just two and a half miles northeast of Grindavik, a small fishing town of about 4,000 people. The town was fully evacuated on November 10th after thousands of earthquakes caused damage and raised fears of the volcanic blast. Right now, though, it appears the evacuated town will remain spared as the lava continues to flow north and away from Grindavik. The area is still closed to everyone except emergency responders. And while the size of the volcanic eruption is weakening, meteorologists are warning everyone there to stay as far away as possible from the eruption site because of the toxic gas you mentioned. As all eyes remain on this volcano, Icelandic officials are also promising to finish building defensive walls, a project that started last month to divert lava away from a nearby geothermal power plant, which powers 30,000 households and the nearby world famous Blue Lagoon Hot Springs. Now, the good news is right now, no one's in danger and flights in and out of the country are not disrupted. But Craig and Britta, this is a much different scenario from 2010 when a volcanic eruption canceled international flights for weeks on end mm. because of huge plumes of ash and smoke. Back to you both. Yeah, I remember those images. Mm -hmm. CB Cotton wow. reporting on the conditions in Iceland. Thank you for the update this morning. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.